Challenger. Challenges. The Ford Mustang. And the Mercury Cougar. Newness is the first challenge. A new car buyer wants all the newness he can get for his buck. He wants the very last word in fresh styling and engineering. Okay, Cougar, what's new with you? Here are matching views of the 69 and 70 Cougar. Strictly a facelift. You can see from this chart of Cougar dimensions for 69 and 70 that the only significant differences are the ones in red. All right, Mustang, how new are you? You've added simulated air scoops and gone back to single headlights again. Mustang shows no significant changes in dimensions other than the loss of an inch in front seat legroom and seven tenths in rear seat legroom. Now, Challenger, how new are you? There'll be no confusing the 70 Challenger with any older versions because Challenger is totally new for 70. That's an automatic win on challenge number one. Second challenge, exterior appearance and features. Let's start up front. Cougar, what's your story? Well, like you said, I have a new bumper and grill treatment with that bold new center grill. I think it's pretty swift. Okay, Mustang, let's hear from you. You said it already. These new simulated air scoops where the low beam lights were before. That brings up a point. Mustang's apparent width as judged by oncoming drivers at night, is considerably narrower than the actual width. That's not all good. Now how about this? Yeah. Now you're showing us some class in a combination of fresh new styling and impeccable taste. A sporty neoclassic appearance. Now let's look across those front ends. Notice the tacked-on look of Cougar's front sheet metal because of the obvious seams. Cougar's side marker lights are set back in deep pockets. This limits the angles from which they can be seen. Now the Mustang... I know, my seams are showing too. Afraid so. And there's a lot of busy work in the sheet metal. By comparison, Challenger's lines make an unbroken sweep. No seams, no busy look. By far the cleanest look. Come on now, no games. Pull that arm away. Cougar does not have concealed wiper blades. Neither does Mustang, but on Challenger. This smooth upsweep conceals the blade for cleaner styling and for a cleaner view of the road in sloppy weather. The driver's blade has articulated double arm action that broadens the wiper pattern. Right, one of Challenger's quality bonuses. And speaking of quality, here's an interesting question. Is the look of overall quality the sum of many small visual impressions? Let's try an experiment. We'll split the screen into Cougar, Mustang, and Challenger sections for a visual comparison of some small details, like corners of the greenhouse, in this case, the upper right front corners. Cougar and Mustang have identical treatment, square corners and abrupt angles. Challenger takes an entirely different approach be your own judge of where the quality is. Another detail. All three cars have ventless curved side windows, but Cougar and Mustang fit their curved windows into flat-sided greenhouses. Challenger's greenhouse has the same graceful tumble home as the window glass. And you could ask most anyone, which car has the most graceful window opening? And the answer would have to be, well, you be the judge of that too. One more look at details. Cougar and Mustang have the conventional push-button door handle and separate lock. Challenger has a brand new paddle grip handle with integrated lock. It's neat, novel, and easy to use. Now, put all the Cougar details together and you get this result. I think it looks good. Well, so do I, and so will a lot of other people. Same goes for Mustang. Uh, thank you, sir. Just being realistic. And being equally realistic, this new Challenger certainly has more than met the challenge of Cougar and Mustang styling. And that goes for any angle, side, front, or rear. 
Cougar has full-width taillight treatment with vertical bars to set off the stages in its annoying sequential turn signal system. Annoying? Okay, just personal opinion. Sequential turn signals make me see red more ways than one. Like the guy's yelling, look stupid, I'm turning, about six times in a row. And anyway, as for Cougar's backup lights, can you think of any place to put them where they'd be more vulnerable to damage? I'll take the Fifth Amendment on that question. And I know what you're going to say next. My seams are showing back here, too. So are mine. But my backup lights are protected. Yes, Miss Mustang, but... I'm afraid that your stern view won't turn on many prospects this year. That Ford styling theme is, to put it kindly, a bit too threadbare to cause much excitement in 70. No... Challenger has what it takes to attract attention here. A clean sweep of style. Uncluttered taillight lenses divided by a central backup light. All well protected by the bumper. Graceful deck lid. And no seams. Clean design all the way. And by the way, there are no skeletons hiding under my trunk mat. I take it you're referring to this interesting feature of the Cougar. The trunk floor is the gas tank, period. Mustang has the same setup. All your luggage sits directly on the tank. This is strictly a Ford idea. Now let's see how Challenger meets the challenge of interior design. Well, Challenger will have to go some to equal my door panel, and it has a squeeze grip handle in the armrest. I've got it too, same as Cougar, exactly. So you have a squeeze grip handle and a screwed on armrest and the conventional door lock button. Now, Miss Challenger, what can you offer door wise? First, this beautiful recessed armrest molded right into the door, not just screwed on. Next, a whole new thing in door locks. This is it, right here in the armrest. No more button on top of the door. And this cool new style paddle grip handle. Looks like you win a few solid points there, Challenger. Now, Miss Cougar, what do you see from the driver's seat? These beautiful instruments and everything grouped for maximum convenience. Is that so? Say, you'd better use the ashtray right quick. Okay, so the ashtray isn't convenient. Everything else is. Including the heater controls? Well, the Mustang's no better. Thanks, sister, for nothing. <laughs> All right, girls, now eat your hearts out. Look at complete convenience, challenger style. Everything easy to see, easy to reach, easy to use, including... The ashtray. And the heater controls. And challenger not only means less reach, but more room, beating both Cougar and Mustang in front and rear compartment roominess. Here's the score on Challenger and Cougar. Every plus sign means a win. And Challenger has six pluses to Cougar's zero. And against Mustang, Challenger also picks up all the marbles. Furthermore, Challenger provides molded-in armrests for rear seat passengers. Not so, Cougar. Or Mustang. Yes, in every way. Challenger more than meets the challenge of Ford's pony car exteriors and interiors. And in between the two, there's another mighty important Challenger safety bonus. A hefty set of steel beams in the doors and roof to give extra protection in case of side impact or rollover. Neither Cougar nor Mustang have anything comparable. And that covers just about all the main bases, except how Challenger meets the challenge of Ford's power offerings. Let's check Cougar. Four engines are available in the Cougar line. A 351 cube two barrel V8 is standard in the Cougar and XR7. There are three optional four barrel V8s going up to a 429. Mustang offers eight mils ranging from the standard 200 cube six to a 429 V8. Challenger, with nine engine offerings, beats both Fords with a range that goes all the way from the 225 slant six to the giant 440, six pack or magnum, and includes the mighty 426 Hemi. 
challenger more than meets the Cougar and Mustang challenges in every area of value. And discerning sports compact buyers are getting the word and spreading it fast. Yeah, in 70. They're going my way.